Yay! Ah, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Mother Goose on the Loose. My name is Miss Katrina. I am the children's librarian here at the Northboro Free Library. We are still virtual uh, in this crazy world we're living in, but I'm very, very, very happy and excited to be here with you for our fall session. We've got some new rhymes that we're going to be uh, working on and learning, and they're super cute. I can't wait to share them with you over the course of the next few weeks. Um, some, some introductory things in case you're new to Mother Goose on the Loose. This is a program that is designed for infants ages birth through around three years old, depending on how your child uh, reacts and if they're still enjoying it and getting things out, then you're doing the right thing by coming. Um, we're going to go through whole bunches of rhymes, songs, movement activities. We're going to use puppets today. Um, if you have a scarf or uh, a paper towel or a tissue or anything that you can um, play with and throw up in the air. Uh, we're going to be using that, so I encourage you to get that. And this program is best uh, participated in with a grown-up. So grown-ups, I encourage you to sing, um, sing the songs with me, say the rhymes along with me. We'll do all rhymes twice. So if you're not, un uh, not familiar with something, feel free to listen in the first time uh, to me and then join in with me the second time. And I think that's everything. So without further ado, Mother Goose on the loose. Ready? Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on her very fine gander. And you can fly your child through the air if you'd like. Let's do it again. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on her very fine gander. Good job. And let's help Goosey Gander up these green stairs. Ready? Goosey, Goosey Gander, where do you wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber. One more time. Goosey, Goosey Gander, where do you wander? Up Stairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber. Good job. All right, we've got a new song. It's called uh, Good Morning to You. And it goes like this. And we can wave or you can just hug your child and sing along with me. And it goes, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you. The sun is up and so are you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Let's try it one more time, ready? And I'm gonna wave this time. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you. The sun is up and so are you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good job. So today we are talking about beaches. We're going to do lots of rhymes and songs and we're going to read a book about the beach. I wanted to do row, row, row your boat because a boat is found on the ocean too where the beaches are. So grown-ups, if you would like, um, and I, I forgot to say that this program is best, um, best done with your child on your lap, whether you are sitting down on the couch or on the floor. And for this particular instance, you're going to sit your child on your lap facing you and take their arms and row them back and forth. Let's sing together. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. One more time. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Thank you, George. All right, everybody, let's read a story. Like I said, this is a story about the beach, one of my absolute favorite places in the whole world to be. And this is a story called, Where is Baby's Beach Ball? Have you ever been to the beach? Did you go this summer yet? 
Mm, I did. I got to go a couple of times. I didn't have a ball with me, though. All right. And this is by Karen Katz. And it is read with permission from Simon & Schuster. Thank you, Simon & Schuster. All right. Baby is playing at the beach. But where is Baby's beach ball? Hmm. Is it behind the umbrella? Let's find out. Oh, oh, is that a ball? No, but here are some pretty seashells. How many are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven shells. That's a lot. Hmm, is the ball in mommy's beach bag? Do you think so? Let's find out. Oh. No, but I found my sand pails and a shovel. Pretty cool. What shape is on the blue one? What do you see? I see stars. Hmm, is the beach ball behind the boat? Can you find the boat on the page? There's the boat with the sails. Oh, no, look, it's a friendly octopus. Not a beach ball, that's for sure. Mm, is the ball behind the sandcastle? Wow, that's a pretty cool sandcastle. Look at how tall it is. Let's find out if it's behind there. No. What are those? No, it's not a beach ball. But there are two crawling crabs instead. That's pretty cool. Is the beach ball in the water? Let's find out. Oh, no, these are fishies. Apparently they're flying fish. That's pretty neat. They can jump out of the water. It's baby's beach ball under the blanket. Ah, uh, yes, here it is. Now we can all play. Beach balls are pretty fun, huh? The end. Thank you for reading the story with me. Let's hit the floor together. Ready? Get your hand. We hit the floor together. We hit the floor together. We hit the floor together because it's fun to do. We shrug our shoulders together. We shrug our shoulders together. We shrug our shoulders together because it's fun to do. We nod our heads together. We nod our heads together. We nod our heads together because it's fun to do. We sway from side to side. We sway from side to side. We sway from side to side because it's fun to do. We clap our hands together. We clap our hands together. We clap our hands together because it's fun to do. Good job, everybody. Nicely done. Now it's time for our uh, body awareness portion of our program. So grown-ups, I highly encourage you to touch your child's body parts as we go through our rhymes. So we're going to start with a simple one. It's called My Head is Round. If you've done this program before, you know it. We're just going to make a circle around your child's head. And it goes like this. My head is round. I have two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Good job. We're just bringing awareness to your body, to your baby's body parts. That's all. Let's try it again. My head is round. I have two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Good job. We've got a new one, and it's called one, two, hands. We're going to count. Ready? One, two, hands. One, two, eyes. One, two, ears and a nose my size one two legs one two feet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten little fingers meet good job i really like this one let's try it again ready one two hands one two eyes one, two ears and a nose my size. One, two legs. One, two feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten little fingers meet. Good job. All right.
right. Grownups, you are going to open your child's palm and with your finger, make a circle in their palm. Ready? Round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle under there. Good job. Round about, round about goes the wee mouse. Up a step, up a step, all around the house. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Let's try the set again. Round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle under there. Round about, round about goes the wee mouse. Up a step, up a step, all around the house. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Good job. All right, we've got a new one. It's called eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. We'll do it a couple of times so we can get it. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. And don't forget your mouth. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Ready? Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. And don't forget your mouth. Mwah! Good job. Okay, grown-ups, put your child on your lap facing the screen. And we're going to do a leg rhyme, or a foot padding rhyme, rather, called Cobbler, Cobbler, Are You Listening? And we did this last session, so you might remember it. And we just tap the soles of your child's feet together. Ready? Cobbler, cobbler, are you listening? Can you mend my shoes? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I'll use a nail or two. And you just tickle the soles of their feet. Let's try it one more time. Cobbler, cobbler, are you listening? Can you mend my shoes? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I'll use a nail or two. Good job. And let's move our legs up and down, kind of like we're riding a bicycle. We're just going to move back and forth. Seesaw, scare it down. This is the way to London town with one knee up and the other knee down. This is the way to London town. Let's go to Northborough town. See, saw, scare it down. This is the way to Northborough Town with one knee up and the other knee down. This is the way to Northborough Town. Good job. And it's time to do some bouncing. Let's do a bouncing we will go, a bouncing we will go. I hold the dairy, oh, a bouncing we will go, a rocking we will go, a rocking we will go. I hold the dairy, oh, a rocking we will go, a tickling we will go, a tickling we will go. I hold the dairy, oh, a tickling we will go. Good job. Let's try one more time. A bouncing we will go, a bouncing we will go. Hi ho the dairy o oh, a bouncing we will go a rocking we will go a rocking we will go Hi ho the dairy o oh, a rocking we will go a tickling we will go a tickling we will go Hi ho the dairy o oh, a tickling we will go Good job we're going to do a song called Let's Go Riding in an Elevator. And we're just going to start by bouncing. And it goes like this. Let's go riding in an elevator. Let's go riding in an elevator. Let's go riding in an elevator. First floor, second floor, third floor, down. Good job. Let's try it again. Really simple, right? Let's go riding in an elevator. Let's go riding in an elevator. Let's go riding in an elevator. First floor, second floor, third floor, down. Good job. All right, everybody. It's that time. Rum, pum, pum. This is my drum. 
rum pum pum. This is my drum. Everybody stand up. Stand up, stand up, and we are going to march to the drum. I invite everybody to march in a big circle around their living room or wherever you are. I'm going to stay right in front of the screen so you can see what I'm doing. Shall we? We're marching to the drum. We're marching to the drum. Hi ho, the very oh, we're marching to the drum. Let's jump. We're jumping to the drum. We're jumping to the drum. Hi ho, the dairy o. We're jumping to the drum. Shh, let's tiptoe. We're tiptoeing to the drum. We're tiptoeing to the drum. Hi ho, the dairy o. We're tiptoeing to the drum. Good job being quiet. Now let's run really fast. We're running to the drum. We're running to the drum. Hi ho, the dairy o. We're running to the drum. And the drum says. Stop! Good stopping! All right, we're keeping to our beach theme here. We're going to do a new song called I'm a Little Fishy, and it's to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. And grown-ups with really small kids, you're going to have your kids in your arms right now for our stand-up session. Just a reminder that you can touch their body parts or help them to do the movements, or you can do the movements as well. And they're taking everything in by watching you, even if they're not participating actively in the rhymes. All right, it goes, I'm a little fishy, watch me swim. Here is my tail and here is my fin. Uh, when, I want, well, when I want to have fun with my friends, I wiggle my tail and dive right and good job. Let's try it again. I'll try to remember the words. <laughs> I'm a little fishy. Watch me swim. Here is my tail and here is my fin. When I want to have fun with my friends, I wiggle my tail and dive right in. Good job. All right, what else did I have planned? I know I have a bunch of new songs that I was just so excited to do. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna do a new song called Up, Down. Ready? So we're gonna go up, down, turn around, touch the sky and touch the ground. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, Wiggle shoulders and down I go. Let's try it one more time, ready? Up, down, turn around, touch the sky and touch the ground. Wiggle my fingers, wiggle my toes, wiggle my shoulders and down I go. Good job. Some fun new rhymes for you guys to practice. <clears throat> Ready? Candy, sandy, sugary candy, we all jump in. Candy, sandy, sugary candy, we all jump out. Candy, sandy, sugary candy, we all jump up. Candy, sandy, sugary candy, we all sit down. Let's sit down. I'm going to find my seat. And we are going to make some animal noises. And actually, usually we do a song called, I went to, or a, a rhyme called, I went to visit the farm one day. We're going to do, I went to visit the beach one day. Do you remember the animals that we saw in here? Let's see if we can find them. So I went to visit the beach one day. And I saw an octopus along the way. How do you think that octopus played? Hmm, if you were an octopus, how would you play? I would wiggle my eight tentacles. Can you wiggle your tentacles? Wiggle all of them. <laughs> that would be really fun. I think I would have a good time as an octopus. I went to visit the beach one day and I saw some Crabs along the way. How do you think those crabs did play? Ooh, how do you think a crab would play? Maybe you can come up with something creative. 
I think I would say, pinch, 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 pinch. That's what I would do. I would pretend that my claws were castanets, which are little instruments. And they make a clack, 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 clack noise. That's how I would play. I went to visit the beach one day and I saw some fish along the way. How do you think those fish did play? Do you remember what we said these fish were? We said they were flying fish. If I was a flying fish, I would fly through the air. Ready, let's get out our fish fins. Whoosh! We'd jump out of the water. Whoosh! <laughs> what would you do? How would you play if you were a fish? I like it. I would have a lot of fun. All right. Let's do when pigs get up in the morning, they say, oink, oink. When pigs get up in the morning, they always say, oink, oink, oink. <laughs> Let's do a cow. When cows get up in the morning, they say, moo, moo. When cows get up in the morning, they always say, moo. Who else do we have? My favorite. When monkeys get up in the morning, they say, ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. When monkeys get up in the morning, they always say, ooh, 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 ah, 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 ah. <laughs> hmm, let's do one more. Let's do when kitties get up in the morning, they say, meow, meow. When kitties get up in the morning, they always say, meow. Good job. Okay, we're going to count some more. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I threw it back again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger, so which finger did he bite? This little pinky on the right. Oh, no. I don't think that would feel very good. Let's try it one more time. Can you count on your fingers or grown-ups? You can just touch your, your child's fingers in succession if you'd like. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I threw him back again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which little finger did he bite? This little pinky on the right. Oh no, I bet it hurt. I wouldn't want a fish to bite my pinky. That'd be very silly. All right, let's do, we're gonna do a new rhyme. It's called Piggy Over the Water. It's a very silly rhyme. It goes, Piggy over the water. Piggy over the sea. Piggy catch a blackbird, but he can't catch me. And you can find your own animal to substitute Piggy for and say the rhyme along with me. You can just clap along with me so that your child can hear the underlying rhythm of the song, however you want to do it. Let's say it again. It goes, Piggy over the water. Piggy over the sea. Piggy catch a blackbird, but he can't catch me. Good job. All right, everybody. It is time. If you have a scarf, bring your scarf out or a paper towel or a tissue or even um, like a washcloth or a dish towel will work as well. And let's sing. Wind, oh wind, oh wind, I say, what are you blowing away today? Scarves, oh scarves, oh scarves, I say, I am blowing the scarves away. Let's pretend our scarf is a washcloth. Ready? Let's wash our arms. This is the way we wash our arms, wash our arms, wash our arms. This is the way we wash our arms so early in the morning. Let's wash our neck. This is the way we wash our neck, wash our neck, wash our neck. This is the way we wash our neck so early in the morning. Can you find your tummy? 
Let's wash our tummies. This is the way we wash our tummies. Wash our tummies. Wash our tummies. This is the way we wash our tummies so early in the morning. How about your knees? Can you find your knees? This is the way we wash our knees. Wash our knees. Wash our knees. This is the way we wash our knees so early in the morning. Good job. And you can keep washing body parts later if you would like. I have a couple new songs for us. All right. And it goes, this one is called Our Scarves Go Up, Up, Up. Our scarves go up, up, up. Our scarves go down, down, down. Our scarves go up, up, up. Around, around, around. Put it on your shoulders. Put it on your head. Tickle it on your tummy. Then tuck it into bed. Tuck, 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 tuck. Wee! Good job. Let's try it one more time. This is one of my favorite new ones. Our scars go up, up, up. Our scarves go down, down, down. Our scarves go up, up, up. Around, around, around. Put it on your shoulders. Put it on your head. Tickle it on your tummy. Then tuck it into bed. Tuck, 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 tuck. Wee! Good job. What else did I want to do? Oh, we need to do a song called um, My Kite's Flying Way Up High. And it goes like this. My kite's flying way up high. Do-da, do-da. My kite's flying way up high, way up in the sky. And now the wind is going to blow it. The wind is blowing it around, do-da, do-da. The wind is blowing it around, way up in the sky. Oh, no. And my kite is crashing to the ground, do-da, do-da. My kite is crashing to the ground. Wow. And now our fun's all done. Sad. <laughs> Wind, oh wind, oh wind, I say, what are you blowing away today? Scarves, oh scarves, oh scarves, I say, I am blowing the scarves away. Scarves away, scarves away, put your scarves away today. Scarves away, scarves away. Put your scarves away today. Good job, everybody. All right, it is time to snuggle up. We are going to do our lullaby. So I'm going to get my ukulele. It's a song we all know and love, or at least I sure love it. It's called uh, You Are My Sunshine. So please snuggle and sing along with me. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Don't take my sunshine away. <sighs> Lullabies are a great way to transition from one thing to another. So if you have your own Humpty Dumpty, I encourage you to hang him up on your wall. If you don't, email me. I can send you a template for Humpty Dumpty so you can play along with me. Or you can pretend that you're pulling it off the screen with me. Ready? Let's say the rhyme together. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. He just keeps falling, huh? Let's try it one more time. Ready? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So, oh, poor Humpty. All right, everybody, you ready to kick for, with two feet? You can sit on the ground or have your kiddo sit on your lap and let's kick. 
Can you kick with two feet? Two feet, two feet. Can you kick with two feet? Kick, 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 kick. Can you wiggle with ten fingers? Ten fingers, ten fingers. Can you wiggle with ten fingers? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Can you clap with two hands? Two hands, two hands. Can you clap with two hands? Clap, 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 clap. Can you wave bye 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 Can you wave bye 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 We're so happy we're so happy we're so happy that everyone is here We're so happy we're so happy we're so happy that everyone is here Thank you so much for coming today. You all did an amazing job. I am sure of it. I can't wait to see you again in person. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And as usual, if you need anything at all, any way that we can assist you by um, getting books to you or resources or song lists or Humpty Dumpty or anything, Feel free to reach out, childrens at northboroughlibrary.org or give us a call, 508-393-5025, extension 4, and we'll be happy to help you out. We are having our next pop-up library this Saturday from 9 a.m. to noon, so we will be outside the library socially distancing with gloves and hand sanitizer and masks on and books everywhere. So if you're looking to get some new materials in your home, that have been quarantining in the library for far too long. I would love to see you there. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye.